Nonprofit Spotlight is at Unity Shop, and we'll be talking with Chairman of the Board, Kenneth Kahn, Executive Director, Tom Reed, and Board Member, Jonathan King. Let's start our Spotlight. Well, thank you, Kenneth, for joining us today. Usually, we start off our Nonprofit Spotlight segments by asking the nonprofit what their mission is, but Unity Shop is unique, and I'd like for you to explain to me and our viewers what the Unity in Unity Shop means and how it falls into the mission of Unity Shop. Well, to start off, I mean, Unity Shop is a real magical place. And yes, Unique is its middle name. Um, uh, Unity is, is really a spin-off of, uh, uh, of the, the core of what makes uh, the Unity Shop special. And that's, that's the collaboration with so many different organizations. Right now, we're collaborating with about 300 different nonprofit or different agencies throughout the county. Um, and uh, we're, we're not just sitting here waiting for people to come to us, but we are having those different agencies throughout the community refer individuals out here for assistance. And how many people would you guess are supported by Unity Shop? Uh, to, uh, this year, about uh, probably going to have about 22,000 plus people walk through the doors. Uh, and every year, the need grows. It, it gets. Uh, uh, there, you know, we get more and more people coming through the doors. I mean, just a few years ago, I think the numbers were like 18,000 years. So it's, it's definitely the need is out there with the economy now. I know that uh, we're probably going to have even more uh, you know, to add to the statistics for next year. You have a personal story of how you came to be involved with Unity Shop. Would you mind explaining that to us? Uh, yes. Uh, I'm very fortunate to uh, get to work with the San Inez Band of Chumash Indians. Um, also, I grew up on the reservation. Uh, and I was one of the families out there that received uh, uh, much needed assistance from Unity and uh, a lot of our members out there are real appreciative of what the Unity Shop was able to provide for them early on and uh, now we're really proud to be able to give back uh, uh, and uh, we see a lot, I, uh, working with Unity now from a board perspective I also see a lot of other people a lot of other organizations that uh, have gotten a chance to get a helping hand from Unity uh, also giving back. So there's a lot of special stories that connect with uh, unity um, and uh, um, it, it's what makes this place again uh, magical. Well thank you so much Kenneth for sharing your story with us and all of the great things that Unity Shop is doing in our community and next up we'll be talking with Tom the executive director. Great thank you so much. Thanks. Well thank you Tom for joining us today. Kenneth told us what the Unity in Unity Shop stood for, but what does the shop in Unity Shop stand for? Well, the shop is a very, very special component, and it, uh, it leads all the way back to the 1917 origins of this with Pearl Chase. She had a couple of philosophies. One is that families ought to have food at Christmas time, kids ought to have a toy at Christmas time, even if it was used and broken, and seniors ought not to be forgotten and left uh, alone and set aside in their last chapter of life. But it all, her philosophy had to do with rebuilding dignity and offering choice. That makes all the difference. If you give something to somebody, they'll receive it. But if nine times out of 10, most of the time, it will not hit the target. It wouldn't be what they would choose for themselves. So the shop part of Unity provides an opportunity for people to come and select for themselves what they will need and what, what they will actually use. It saves all of the loss, the inefficiencies, of giving away a lot of things that people would not choose for themselves. Well, what kind of community support does Unity Shop depend on? It's an excellent question, especially in this economy. We don't get any government funds, state, federal, county, uh, no United Way funds, and so we're really on our own. We have some foundations that help us 25% to 30% of our budget, and then the rest is just individuals and businesses. It's really a true grassroots community effort. And so the food often is donated, and so organizations can do food drives for us. They can donate money for food, and then we can buy it in bulk and uh, leverage the dollars. Um, our telethon is a great opportunity for people to come on board, and we can uh, acknowledge their donations for us. Financial donations are actually the hardest to come by, but they're the most efficient because when you come to school clothes and school supplies, we buy those. We go on four buying trips every year and we know how to buy things, closeouts for like 10 cents on the dollar and we buy exactly what's needed at exactly the right time and so we can really uh, go the extra mile with the dollars that are donated. You can see these shelves are not all full. We go th if you have 75 families coming through in a day and each one gets $150 worth of food, that's $10,000 worth of food in one day. 
It's very hard to keep up, and the, the numbers are accelerating dramatically. Uh, Kenny was mentioning the, the increase in the growth. We were at 16,330 people two years ago. Now we're over 22,000 people. 35% increase in two years, and the economy is going to continue to struggle for the next number of years. So the community support is very, very appreciated and needed. And how would someone go about contacting the Unity Shop? Well, we're at 1219 State Street. You can come down anytime. Our little gift shop is a wonderful place to kind of check in. The main number is 965-4122. And of course, for all kinds of information, it's the website at Unity Shop, S-H-O-P-P-E dot O-R-G. Well, thank you, Tom, for talking with us. It's been a pleasure. Thank you so much for your help. Well, thank you, Jonathan, for talking with us today. Can you explain to me the connection between the store at 1219 State Street, which is where we are today, and the Unity Shop in general? Sure. Um, basically, this is the thrift store for the Unity Shop, and it includes new and used items. And the idea is that this store goes to help the Unity Shop provide for all of its numerous programs because we're helping people through periodic times of crisis. And that helps eliminate welfare dependency and homelessness. Okay. How many programs does Unity have? Unity Shop has 10 different programs and basically we're giving free clothing, food, baby items, um, furniture and household goods to families in need throughout the county. But we're also helping through helping people in need through their Job Smart program, through a senior resource center, through long-term disaster relief services, which also help victims of the fires here in the local area, as well as job training in an on-the-job environment. Fantastic. Well, thank you so much for sharing the information with us. You're welcome. If you'd like your nonprofit featured in a future nonprofit spotlight, contact us at the information on your screen.